Today I'll be showing you how to create a nice animation that we've seen in a lot of apps. One of the popular apps is called News in Shorts. It's a news app in India in which you can just swipe the screen up to go into the next article. So as you can see here, you're swiping and you're getting to see the next article. So let's begin. So in front of me, I have an empty project I've created with Expo. I've called our class Deck Swiper. We're going to start by just creating the layout of what we want. So we want a view which has two parts in it, which is the first is going to be the image view and the bottom is going to be the article view. For that, as you can notice here, I've got some images here in my assets folder. I'm just going to paste them in here. We'll use the map function to map over these images and display the article with some text here. So to begin with, let's get rid of the view and write, put in an empty view here. Let's give that view a flex of one. And inside that we'll call a method called render articles. Let's create this method here now. So inside this, we'll map over the articles. We'll say articles.map, get the first item, get the index, and obviously we must return this map. And inside that we'll return a main view which houses both the image and the article. So let's give that a flex of one again. And inside that we'll have a top view, which say has a flex of two. And another view, which has a flex of three. So slightly bigger than the top view. And here also we're calling a function. So this should be a fat arrow here. Here, let's put in some boilerplate text here. So I'll put in a text and inside that I'll just copy in some text. And as you can see, we're getting the text about five times, which is not exactly what we want, but at least we're getting the text there. What we're missing is some styling. So let's do that. So here to the main view, let's put in a comma here. I'll put the styles in line so that they're easier to understand. Let's give it a position of absolute because we want these to stack over each other. So the only way of doing that is putting this to absolute. Give it a height which will be the screen height. So we still have to get this and a width, which will be the width of the screen. And also let's just give a background color of white for uniformity. So how will we get the height and the width? We'll come here. Let's import something known as dimensions from react native. Just ignore that error for now. So let's create a constant called screen height and get the dimensions dot get window dot height. Similarly, let's get the width. So it'll be constant screen width is equal to dimensions dot get window dot width. Now let's put these two in here. So we'd say height is going to be screen height. Width is going to be screen width. Let's save that out. And I've spelled absolute wrong. So let's make that absolute. That seems just about right. And now you can see that we can only see one set of text here. And we're getting this other arrow over here, which says each child in an array or iterator should have a unique key. So let's just put in a key here as well. Let's say key is equal to item dot ID. So that key is coming from here. Now let's put in the image here at the top. So in the first flex, which has a flex of two, we'll put in an image. And obviously let's start by importing the image here at the top first. We have the image there. In the image, we'll put in the source, which will be articles, go into the index, which is I, and then get the URI from there. Let's style the image. So we'll say style is equal to a flex of one because we wanted to take up the whole place. And for that, we have to give a height of null and a width of null with a resize mode of center so that the image gets centered. And as we can see, we're getting the image there on the top. What we want to do is we want to give the background color of the view of the image a color of black. And that looks much better. And also let's give the text a slight padding. That looks much better. And let's just duplicate this text here as well, because for Android users, the pan responder doesn't tend to work if there's empty place here. So let's just put in more text here. And that's our complete article. Now we need to attach the pan responder so that when we swipe up, we can see the card below it. 